Hi, I'm Dan Grohlman. I'm the head of brain engineering here at Misty Robotics. What brain engineering means is we focus a lot on social robotics, how robots and humans can interact, and how we can make that interaction pleasant and nice for everyone involved. The most frustrating part about my work with robots to date has been actually getting a robot that I can do the work on, getting something that incorporates the latest technologies that I need, that just turns on and goes when I need it to, and I don't need to calibrate it every single time, or I don't need to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on. And so I'm really excited for the stuff we're doing here at MISTI because we're answering that question directly. We're building a robust, integrated platform that has the expressiveness that I need, that has the technologies that I need, that just turns on and goes. Uh, being able to do that will greatly advance all work in robotics, I think, and certainly my own work would go much faster. We believe that having a robot act as a social character, a social entity, and interact with humans using our normal social interaction cues will greatly drive uh, endearment and engagement with the robot. And so a lot of our work looks at how do we make robots feel like social agents, feel like living creatures that you already know how to interact with. No one needs to be trained on how to interact with a cat. It's just, it's a cat, you know what a cat is. Uh, you shouldn't need to read a thousand page user manual to figure out how to interact with your robot. So what's great about Misty, the robot, is she's been designed specifically to allow for this sort of expression and connection. She's got a three degree of freedom head, so she can look at you and tilt her head to the side and express curiosity. She's got arms that she can point at things and gesticulate. She's got color, she's got sounds. Uh, she's got a lot of stuff built in so that she can express personality and form that sort of connection that we're looking for. The whole point is that even if you don't know a lot about robotics, you can come in and start getting the robot to do the things you want really quickly. I wrote a bunch of skills for Misty just to sort of prove out the system and see how, how easy it would be. And it was remarkably simple. Uh, high level description of what I wanted the skill to do, a couple of lines of JavaScript and the robot was moving around, some tweaking. All told, you know, I wrote probably three skills in a day.